Hatchery operations begin when our drivers arrive with the eggs from one of our breeder farms. There are two different docks, one for receiving eggs and the other for loading clean trolleys to take back out to a breeder farm. Our drivers are Bell & Evans employees and fully trained in our biosecurity measures. From the trailer, we wheel the egg trolleys into a disinfectant room where an organic approved mist is released, disinfecting the eggs. Again, we do not use formaldehyde, another key difference of our hatchery. Formaldehyde is commonly used to minimize bacteria on the eggs, but formaldehyde is a toxic chemical. Given our biosecurity measures, an organic disinfectant is all we need. Over here, egg trays are moved from farm trolleys onto setter trolleys via this electronic transfer system. The setter trolleys move into incubation, while the farm trolleys are washed and ready to use again. Margo will tell you more about incubation. We have 36 incubation units. That's about 169,000 eggs per unit. At any given time, we can have up to 6 million eggs in our incubators. The embryos develop in here for 18 days. These units tilt the eggs to maintain uniform and precise temperature, humidity, and CO2 levels, which you can control from these screens. After 18 days of incubation, the trolleys are wheeled into this area for embryo detection. These machines check every egg for a heartbeat before they go into the hatchers. The screen shows which eggs are fertile and which are not. The green dots stand for fertile eggs with viable embryos, the blue for infertile eggs with no embryo, and yellow for non-viable embryos. The transfer system picks up only the fertile eggs and reshuffles them into specialized hatching trays. This is important because if non-viable embryos were left in the hatching trays, those eggs could decompose and expose the newborn chicks to harmful bacteria. The trays with non-viable embryos are removed, washed, and sanitized to use again. Here, viable embryos receive an organic-approved vaccination against common poultry illnesses. We never inject our eggs with antibiotics, nor do we give a Bell & Evans chicken antibiotics at any point in their life. Most no antibiotic claims aren't even entirely true, because the producer will sneak antibiotics into the embryo and still label their product as organic. Here you can see our hatch care trays. Each holds 90 eggs. Notice how the tray is only one level right now. Well, that's about to change. Our specialized hatching system actually has two levels. The egg tray sits on top of the hatching basket. As the chicks hatch, they move away from the egg debris to the lower basket, where organic feed and fresh water awaits them. This is our mini pelleted feed. It's a proprietary organic blend that we use for the balance of nutrients that help our chicks thrive in their first days. In traditional hatcheries, chicks aren't given access to food and water until they arrive at their farms.